So with your XP2 package, the non-GPS version, you get the DX6i Spectrum radio. This is a really, really nice radio and has great features for the price. It will basically go so far away that you can't see your helicopter. So don't worry about the range on this thing. It's really far. Things you got to worry about is power. You have to make sure that you keep this thing charged. A fully charged battery, is a, it gives you voltage on the screen if we turn it on with the on switch right here. The fully charged battery is around like 5.5 volts or higher, but this thing will start squawking at you. It will go beep, beep, beep if it's low, and that's like 4 point something volts. So just you know, charge it with the charger port. Really simple. Um, this program's, or sorry, this radio is already programmed. Everything's ready to go. Don't mess with the settings on here inside. Don't try to bind it to your helicopter. Everything's ready to go. That's a ready to fly package. So what you need to know about this radio is, if you had never flown one before, is this is the throttle switch right here. Up and down will make your motor spin faster or slower. Rudder is right to left, which will you know, spin the craft. And this is your uh, forward is your elevator, which is basically tilts the craft forward and back. And then right and left is your ailerons, which is, you know, rolls right and left. So another important thing to note is there's a timer switch here and we have it set for a six minute flight time. If you flip this timer switch, there's a clock on your screen that begins to count down and it will beep every minute. When you land, you can hit the switch once and it will pause your timer. If you want to reset the timer, hold down this switch for a little while, like five seconds, and then let go. And now your timer is reset to six minutes. Uh, we recommend flying anywhere between around seven to eight to 10 minutes. It really depends upon your payload and how hard you're flying. So this is a good safety to start with, six minutes, and just kind of go from there. Another thing is on the non-GPS version, this gear switch right here, this is all the way forward or all the way this way is manual mode. If you flip it back towards you, this is stable mode or altitude hold mode, which will be an auto leveling function where if you go forward and let go of the switch, it will level itself out. If you're just learning how to fly, I would recommend flying in auto level mode. It's much easier. If you're good at flying and you're confident, manual mode will get you the best results for smooth flight and video. Other than that, it, you're ready to go. This is the DX6i. These switches up here, they don't do anything. Just this switch, the timer switch, and then just make sure you have plenty of batteries. Have fun.